this episode, we will save tag and categories along with the new post. That means saving relationship tables in one go. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so let's see first. We will edit this post and after editing, you can see we don't have anything which connect or where we can select the categories and the tag. So let's first do that thing. So I will go to Sublime. Firstly, I will go to this edit part and we want something to add category and tag. So let's see. Let's open raw file and inside admin anyone then we will navigate okay so here we are and let's see forms general form no advanced element yeah so you can see we here we are getting many selection multiple selection so let's just grab this one so inspect this we want to have this whole form group so let's edit as HTML. Okay, so let's grab everything from here. Go to this edit. No, this is a index. Close, even close this index. Resources, views, admin, post, edit. Yeah, here and just above this text area we want to have all these things but we are not interested in these kind of span so delete these things and yes so let's go and refresh and yes we can see we have this multiple selection for this but as I told you we want this kind of selection multiple selection so for that we have to grab some CSS and JS files so view source and you can see we have given here select to dot min dot cs so let's copy this and paste it on our head section so i will create that section so end section here and this will be main not main head section so section and inside here link href will be having admin slash and everything and then here comes asset and let's go to this refresh and view source and yes we are getting this but it's not the correct path okay because let's see what happened here so because this comes the double quotes at the end so now yes it's fine similarly we have to grab the JS so which is at the bottom yes you can see here it's given select to so copy this one go here at the bottom we will say section name footer section and inside this create a script of HTML tag source will be asset then admin slash everything and one more thing you can see we have to give this statement for initializing of our select so I will create a new script here Okay, and inside here I will say when this is ready, then select to dot select to. Go back, refresh here, and yes, we can see we have this kind of things, but its color is something different. So maybe we can let's just tweak this, inspect this element, and here comes the background color which is this if I disable this background color then it will be nice and this is for select to dot min so let's open select to dot min dot CSS and I have to find this one so not this whole one only 
this one go find this which is not getting yeah because it's a minimized file so border background color which is not required go back refresh close this and yes it's working okay so I want this to be not here but here so let's do that so close this and we are giving all these things here so let's just copy this from here and as I told you I want that to be on the right side so right side we have publish here so it's fix publish and let's give it here and reindent so everything is inlined now okay so it's here multiple selection but I think we have to give a new break line break here so refresh oops maybe if I give a style margin top 18 and yes okay so here we can say it's not multiple I will say select tags same thing we have to get for tags we have but we want one for category so same again exact same thing for category so select category so here we have but I want this publish button to be in line with the file input so that we can move these two little bit up so let's go here and firstly delete these breaks we have given and let's just do one thing inside this form group firstly create a new div of call lg uh, not call lg full uh, let's say write so move this file input to write and move this checkbox in, inside the form group and for this checkbox give a class of full left okay so let's go refresh and yes you can see it's on the left it's on the right but here comes the problem maybe we have to get back our breaks so yes one more uh, okay I think it's okay but if we give a break here that will be look more nice more nice but again delete this one okay so yeah it's looking very very nice okay so we have here and we can select categories from here but we want our category which we have created here uh, inside the category and the tags here so we don't have here I have deleted this for when I am testing so level edited and level oops and level edited this one one more tag so tag 2 tag 2 and tag 2 save this yes so we have two categories uh, two tags we have to create categories so category is master and master this one add one more master 2 master 2 and yes so I want these categories to be here whenever I am getting these things so we have this uh, let's see one thing whenever we create new we don't have anything so let's just first copy everything we have given here so maybe I can check this where it's ending so this is ending on 94 so from 55 till 94 we have to copy and same thing for post so here comes and 55 to 54 but here is another so let's go add new and yes but we have to include that CSS and 
js files so css is here and similarly js is here so this footer section comes uh, at the bottom yes go refresh and yes everything is good but as i told you we want to have uh, data from our table so for the tags so let's just close these thing go to post controller and whenever we are creating new so whenever we are creating new we want the tag and categories so firstly i will say tags so tag all okay same thing for category so categories and category okay and now we have to pass these things so let's compact what tags and categories both thing so same similarly we want everything for whenever we are editing one or one any one post so let's do that same thing but here comes post also so post yeah it is and that one is edit edit okay so now we have categories so let's go here and instead of this things i want to have here a for each loop for each loop which say tags as tag and and move this inside here echo out tag name but option having the value of tag id same thing we want for category so category and here comes categories as copy for category okay so go back and refresh oops it's not having something okay we have to include this at the top so i will use php companion control shift p and i will say use so if you are not familiar with php companion check out the sublime link in the description okay so we are using this category at the top same for uh, tag we have used so now same for category so category is here refresh and yes we can see we have these two category in our system and these two ah uh, why i'm saying category for tag these two tags for our system for our database and these two categories now it's okay so now everything is good so we have seen these things and we have done these for post let's let's do same thing for for the edit also so i will copy these two select cases and paste it here so let's reindent reindent this go back edit this and we are getting every category but whenever we are editing we want the category to be selected but we will do that thing later okay so let, let's first save this so now comes the part for saving so let's open post controller whenever we are storing any post we want to store these categories so what i will do i will say i will say post arrow tags tags as the relationship we have given that's why i am using tags arrow sync so after sync i will give request um request arrow tags so is that okay so we have to open our post and here as because it is tag we have to give it a name name of tag we have not given so name is tags and giving 
these these square brackets so that it will get every tag we are selecting in an array same thing for category so name category and I think categories will be fine so categories and these square brackets and as we have done here we have to do same thing for edit so these thing where is that yeah here it is so this is for category name is category and here for tag so it comes tags so let's let's do one thing first return request everything for whatever we are saving so here when we select this tag and this category submit this oh oh yeah <laughs> we are on the edit part so we have to return request for edit that means for update so here i will say return request all refresh select tag category submit and you can see now it, we have this tag value 2 id of 2 and category id of 2 so let's see suppose we are having one more tag so whenever i submit we get two id of the two two tags we have selected so let's go here and now whenever we are updating as i told you for that i will say post arrow tags and arrow sync and dollar request arrow tags okay so do this same thing for category so here comes categories so same thing here also categories so is that categories we have created for our model so relationship so is that yes so that's okay go and save this submit yes we are getting that thing but let's open sql pro here is that open our blog series database so let's open post tag yeah we have this categories and we have these tags we have but the post underscore tag is here you can see we have selected two tags so two tag relationship is here post id is two yes post id is two and tag id is one and two so tag id is one and two similarly for category and post we have selected only one category so here it is and in this way we can save this so same thing we can do for when we are creating the first so store function save this oh how it's like this okay and this one is okay okay so let's try to create new one so i will say this is new subtitle is new again <laughs> okay new new <laughs> okay so categories once now it's uh, select tag only one and category two so I will select two and this uh, is demo okay submit it oh it's okay so you know why this happened because we are saving the tags and categories before we are saving the post so in that case this this statement not getting any post id so what we have to do we have to move these out of this uh, save so first we will save our new post then we will assign these category and tag so save this go refresh and yes we have this so let's try one more time one more time so one more time yeah spelling is different <laughs> okay one more and this time i'm selecting oops this time i'm selecting everything so two tag and two this and this is one more okay submit it and yes we are getting but let's see here post underscore id yeah the fourth one is one and two category underscore post 
yeah one and two that means we are getting these things but uh, let's suppose I am deleting something so let's delete this third one we have created so delete yes it's deleted and let's go so fourth ID is not here but you can see its relationship is still here so we will cover this thing in the next episode but before closing this episode let's see one thing yeah, whenever I click here or I am creating or editing this publish is not having any value if I select this so then I have to say where is that above category yeah here it is so here I have to give value as one similarly for edit so publish having value of one okay so go here refresh this as we are editing this so click on this publish and submit do this for second one publish submit and refresh okay it's not doing that thing the status is one yeah because uh, here here comes the value we are not saving that status so let's save the status also so status is here and same thing for update whenever we have to give it so let's go for status so if status is here now go publish submit and refresh and yes now status is one so if I don't select that so if I don't select that submit it go refresh and yeah it's null now that's okay because if we want only one if it is published so null is also fine so now as we can see we have this uh, one status for third ID of this so third one means this one will has to be checked so what I have to do I will go to edit and here I will say if that means post arrow oh, arrow status is equal to one then echo out checked okay so go refresh and yes we can see we have this checked but for first two one it's not checked so if I if I checked it save it go back and yes it is checked so we will meet in the next episode with some delete part of this whenever I delete any post we have to delete this related content also so we will meet in the next episode till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye